Medina Hospital has been a staple in our community forever. I've had several surgeries there. It means a lot to me to have a hospital to go to and in the community. You always want a hospital close by the older you get. It's a big hospital now, but I remember when it was just still a house. In 1942, leaders of the community decided they needed their own hospital. Prominent citizens went around and asked for money. It took two years to raise enough money to buy a brick house. And in 1944, it became the hospital. It was the home of Theodore Widener. I think there was only 25 beds when the hospital opened. There were two main floors for patient care, and there was a small intensive care unit. But the emergency room was a small little place. But it served the purpose at that time. Having your medical care close to home is a great comfort. That's what the driving force was for the community back in 1944. The name of the hospital was Medina Community Hospital until the 90s when it was changed to Medina General Hospital. There were several major expansions over the years. A major building campaign took place in the early 60s. Again, it was individuals knocking on doors in Medina County asking for donations and they built the east wing of the hospital. We needed to expand this to make more intensive, invasive procedures. In the 1990s, there was a very large renovation that created the front of the hospital. Then the creation of two medical office buildings and a large addition was made to the back of the hospital. The life support team started in 1976 to provide emergency medical services to the city of Medina, Montville Township, and Medina Township. We're one of the only hospital-based EMS services in Ohio. The job of a paramedic is saving lives, and we're very proud to be a part of that every day. As part of a regional strategy, the Cleveland Clinic acquired Medina Hospital in 2009. So the world-class care that's available at the main campus is available to our patients here at Medina Hospital. What we saw with Medina was a culture that it's so aligned with the Cleveland Clinics. It was really about putting patients first. Cleveland Clinic, over a period of just a few years, invested tens of millions of dollars in the hospital. So we have services available now that would have been impossible prior to the affiliation. We take great pride in the care that's being delivered here. We do have a full staff of qualified surgeons with excellent credentials. We have fantastic orthopedics care and we also have a wound care center that has a hyperbaric chamber for speeding the healing of wounds. It's the only such care in the county. In the ICU here, we treat medical and surgical patients. The care is state of the art. The best part is seeing the patients get better and go home. The citizens of Medina County came together in 1944 to create this hospital, and they continue to give to the hospital through philanthropic efforts as well as volunteer services. In 1992, we began fundraising in earnest. All of the money raised by the Medina Hospital Foundation is used in Medina County for Medina Hospital. The community has always been supportive of the hospital. Our volunteer program was started by five women called the Gray Ladies. We are now a program of approximately 300 volunteers who gave well over 40,000 hours of service to the hospital last year alone. They are so compassionate and the biggest thing that they give us is the gift of time. Community hospitals are critically important for being that local point to provide care. Medina has just been spectacular in this for many, many, many years. Patients like to go there. I want to take care of other people the way I would want to be cared for. I think that that is important when you're living in a community where you know almost everybody that you're taking care of. Because it is a community hospital, we have patients come back and just say, hey, thank you. Even a note that said, hey, you saved my life. It isn't just a job, it's a calling to be a caregiver here.